with a driver with a wider stance and that center of mass for the back rather than that as we push we tend to push back so our body's more behind the ball at contact driver versus iron what should you do differently what happens differently what's the science let's explain all first things first equipment wise the driver will feel lighter it's longer it has less loft it has obviously the center of gravity in it is set further behind the face so that can create more twisting with off-center hits the twisting has what well, you know what happens is gear effect and the roll and bulge in the face actually helps the ball go straight to with off-center hits but it can cause the start direction for these shots to be a lot different than it would do with an iron so if you were further away from your work would it be harder or easier so if i got you in your desk in your office if you work in an office that is and i moved your chair further away would that be easier or harder naturally it'd be harder right unless you've got stupidly long arms which is nothing wrong with by the way but just to give you that idea it, you're further away from your work so it's likely to be harder the ball's going further with the driver or at least should be so if you hit this 200 yards for example and you hit this 100 yards simple maths and you had a 10 percent error it's obviously going to be greater with the driver so it's just like that aerosol can dispersion you're going to be greater with this the best players in the world will average about 35 yards dispersion with the driver off the tee that's quite wide and they'll only hit about 60 percent of the fairways the ladies are the ones to watch they hit much more like 80 percent of the fairways and the dispersion is much tighter they don't hit the ball as far the ladies are probably about 260 on average whereas the guys are getting close to 300 yards these days average as an average player on the men's tours so they hit the ball a long way and they hit it straight relatively for the distance they're hitting it but what really happened so consciously i'd want you to really feel like you make no change in your golf swing what we're going to change is how we stand to the golf ball obviously this one's teed up which makes it different this one we can hit it with an upward angle of attack this one sat down and the lie will determine a little bit how we approach that ball the worse the lie the more we adapt generally naturally but we're hitting down in the club four degrees in this and we want to be hitting up on the ball three degrees with that so the ball position with the driver is going to be left heel the ball position with the mid iron for me in europe uh, a lot of the european coaches teach it this way will be in the center i know in some american states and some american coaches teach the ball position to be under the left armpit with every club but what they will do is narrow their stance and as i narrow my stance visually it actually moves the ball relatively further back okay so it's kind of the same thing but just a different process uh, I don't mind which way you do that, but you have to make some changes, narrow the stance or move the ball around to help and suit each other club. Let's look at the signs of this. So the yellow is the low, the yellow tape here is the low point of our golf swing. So if I have this point in there and I move that circle to more upward, you'll see this rod points more left. If I move this further back, that rod points more right. Swing direction, the direction of the hula hoop there I didn't change. But what it does there it changes how the swing interacts with the ground from going naturally more left with the driver and naturally more right with the iron so in theory we want to swing more left with the iron and more right with the driver just to get that what we call d plane working correctly is that something i'd consciously do no not unless you have problems so if you hit your drivers left a lot then it might be worth you thinking okay let's swing more up and to the right and if you hit your irons you know to the right then maybe you'd swing more left with them but certainly for me it should be a natural occurrence if your swing is fairly neutral but that is the science so with the iron we want to hit down on the ball so the ball being in the center the weight being even um, the vertical plane we have in the club is different obviously the lie angle of the clubs are different but we want to be naturally then just swinging and ideally we want to be taking a divot with the iron every single time and we want to be just knocking that ball away with a bruising or turf or a divot and that's the ball fight we'd look for so that's pretty natural for me now with a driver all i'm going to try and change is trying to keep my alignments the same the issue we have and i talk about this a lot in videos when people use a driver their alignment changes as the ball goes forward so do the forearms so do the shoulders and the shoulders get very level so i would try and feel like the ball position still in the center with the club head keep your alignment the same then nudge that club head forward keeping your shoulders in exactly the same position on this one we are going to hit up now my center of mass is further behind the ball 
So if I do a natural swing and don't try and hit the ball as such, don't try and get on top of the ball, then that's naturally going to happen. So if I go ahead and hit this driver now, and that one was great, I'm naturally going to hit up on the ball. The one thing I feel as a concept with the driver is I try and keep my head behind the ball more with the driver as I swing through. And really, LT, that's the main thing. When we swing through with an iron, we're more on top of the ball. Our shoulders are more on top of the ball relative to where the ball's hit. With a driver with a wider stance and our center of mass further back, rather than that, as we push, we tend to push back. So our body's more behind the ball at contact. Again, is this something that's conscious? I wouldn't say so. But again, if your contact is poor with the iron, you can maybe feel that your lead shoulders a bit more on top. We want it in the right sequence, as I talk about a lot. You know, the arms forward, shoulder on top, and then turn through with the driver. It's more the lower half leads, the upper body's back. So we get certainly a little bit more of a difference in sequence in terms of the catch up of the torso and the lower half. Most of it is natural and subconscious. As I said, you might be thinking, God, there's a lot of information. Well, there is. But I'm trying to be honest and explain to you exactly what happens. On the golf course, all I'd want you to do is get the set right with the driver and do your own swing. With the iron, stand to it in the center and do your own swing. Now, if you have faults with the iron or wood on the golf course, then you have to make adaptations for those clubs specifically. What I see with a lot of golfers with a driver is they tend to early extend more with the driver than they do an iron. Mostly, this is because you're going at a faster speed and your body can't cope with it. Sometimes it might well be the club's longer and you just feel a little bit more, oh, get away from the ball type thing. Or sometimes it can be a confidence thing. So if you can do the same swing action with both clubs, but just change the setup, that for me would be what I'd ask you to do. As we said earlier, if your drives go particularly left, then by all means swing a bit more to the right. We definitely want to be in up on the ball. So you want to be able to tee it high and take the ball off the tee with not much disturbance to the tee. That'll be a sign as if you're hitting up on the ball. If you're crushing that tee into the ground every time, you're probably hitting down on it too much. If you stroll to hit it off a high tee and sky it, you're probably hitting down on the ball or your radius isn't very good. With the iron, you want to be able to just bruise the turf or take a divot or hit it from a bare line in, the, in a good location in the face. That'll tell you if you're hitting down on the ball. But you can certainly practice stuff to help you hit down with the iron and certainly practice stuff to help you hit up with the driver. But if we set the ball with the correct ball position, the correct sternum position relevant to the ball, so with the driver, the sternum's in the center, the ball's forward with the iron, the ball's in the center, the sternum's in the center. These things will naturally help us let our club bottom out in the right spot. So with a driver, essentially we want to hit them fat. We want the club almost to hit the ground or even skim the ground before the ball. And with the iron, it wants to be hitting the ball then turf. That's the period statement to make. So if you struggle with one of these clubs specifically, I've got tons of videos on different elements within the driver and within the iron, but really today's about describing the difference between them and the things you should try and do to be more successful with these clubs if you struggle with one or the other. I always get comments, is it the same for the driver whenever I do a video on technique and I'm using an iron? Yes, as long as you set up correctly. But if we're talking about shallowing the plane or loading the wrist or unloading the wrist, yes, it's the same.